Hi guys. Well, I've had quite a constructive day despite the shitty weather we've had. It's almost like it's been winter out there today. It's just been that dull and dismal and wet. It's just been like exactly like you'd expect it to be in the middle of winter. Not in the middle of summer. Um... Yeah, this bike is nearly finished. I'm well over two thirds of the, of the way with it now. Uh, gear cables are connected up. I've just got to, well, oil up the chain and set the gears up if they need it. Because I actually have had it where all I've had to do is connect up the gear cables and the gears have worked. On the rare occasion, that's not very often. I wish that happened more often than it actually does, but. Oh well, it would make life a lot easier if it did. Um, I changed the brake levers, because um, these ones actually feel better. I think they might be a bit longer than the other ones as well. But the other ones, they actually sat there as standard, which was not... and they didn't feel right to pull, they felt a bit spongy, so... Changed the brake levers, I've got to buy a brand new rear brake cable, because... Um, I do not have any long enough, but the um, the gear cable that was attached to this one did actually reach the um, dralia. I did have to cut the outers down just a smidge to get it to fit, but that was yards too bloody long anyway. But uh, yeah, it's all work, all fitted as far as I know it'll work. Got a flat back tyre again. I did um, take the tube out, find the puncture, stick a patch on it, gave it, I don't know, about 20 minutes, half an hour to dry, with um, a big heavy 12 volt battery sitting on top of it, just to make sure it stuck down. But uh, obviously that wasn't enough because it's leaked again. That's why I hate repairing punctures, because I've now got to take that bloody tire off again. Find my repair patches. I have got a bunch of them somewhere, and I can't remember where I put them. And um, fix it. I've got some crap ones somewhere, but don't know where they've gone either. Um, put them over there with all the tools. Um, got me layout going. I watched something on there for a display, so I've gone ahead and done something. That's not permanent though, it's always gonna change, especially them two middle buildings there out of, out of the four that are in shop, that is. They're gonna swap around. Turn this light off now, don't need that one on. Um, I've got someone interested in the bike out front, so that's gonna be tomorrow's task. As I can't really do much on this. I mean, yeah, I could. I could fix the puncture, and it's still rideable because the front brake works fine. But so I could at least take it downstairs after I fix the puncture and um, take it for a test spin and oil the chain up and make sure all the gears work. I did have to change the um, free wheel on that wheel as well because I. Um, I didn't realise until after I put the wheel in that it was a seven speed um free wheel. But I've only got six speed shifters. And I'd already fitted these, so I thought well it'd be just be a lot easier as I already had a six speed free wheel just conveniently laying on the floor from um the ladies Falcon mountain bike project I did. So I just thought that'd be a lot easier just to swap the um, free wheel over. So there's the old 7 speed. Yeah, it looks pretty rusty and rusty brown, but it's still good. The teeth still look good. Um, it's still free wheels fine, so we kept as a spare. I'm pretty sure Nemo has claimed this chair for himself. Pardon me. <laughs> 
Um, well, the other thing I've got to do is just whack a couple of reflectors on and a set of lights. Turn the bedroom light off as well, I don't need that one. Because, um... You never know when you need some lights. I do intend to actually keep this one. I don't intend to sell this one, that one. This one, that one. Whatever. Because, uh, I am actually liking it. If it rides nicely, anyway. If I hate how it rides, now it gets old. <laughs> yeah, that's a very similar design to the silver one I had. In the sense that it's like a rigid frame with um, suspension forks in, but it looks like a dual suspension. My old silver one was like that. How heavy is it? Mm. If I actually didn't know better, I would say this is lighter than the Falcon. I may have even got another puncture in that cover thing, because I don't think I checked the tyre before I put the tube back in. Or did I? I don't think I did. I might have, but I don't think I did. Yeah, I found these um, sort of cheap ass SRAM grip shifts to put on this. Which, um, actually, for cheapies, you could change the cable, gear cable on these quite easily because um, these two sections do actually pop apart quite easily and go back together easily. So, um, it's, they're probably the best style for that I've ever come across, actually. I've got other styles that can be a right pain in the friggin' butt to get back together. You can get some really, really, really nasty, cheap ones that once you've popped them, you, uh, I'd give someone a medal if they could get the damn things back together. I hate them. If it's the really cheap plastic crap ones, that'll probably snap as soon as you twist them. I never bother. Because usually these bits under here bust on them anyway. That's why I didn't reuse the grip shifts that were already on it. I could have. I probably could have put up, um, some cables on them, but... As I've basically rebuilt this bike, I mean, the only things that are original would be... The seat itself, the outer cables, crank and bottom bracket and chain. Everything else has been gone and has um been gone, has been removed and replaced. I know the front and rear brake calipers are not an exact match, but I'll do. That'll do for me. Sorry, I've got a bit of an itchy leg. Uh, it'll be a great little bike for... But, stop messaging me. <laughs> Why is it every time I put the camera on? Someone either rings the phone or message, messages me on, uh, on the computer. So I had to stop and start this video again because that happened. I was getting buzzed like that on Yahoo, and then the phone bloody rang twice. <coughs> well, uh, what else have I done today? Well, apart from done that and had a play around with some Lego, not a great deal. Uh, I did get a phone call from a friend. He was um, doing some work in one of the hairdressers in town for the um he knows the um lady that runs it and her husband and uh, he was doing some decorating work and needed a hand to put the th um three mirrors back up on the wall because he couldn't hold mirrors that size on the wall and hold them in place while putting the screws in all at the same time so so he 
and it went that far away. And I was only just to the bottom of the turn, which was five minutes on a push bike, if that. Probably less than that, actually. Uh, so I gave him a hand to do that and put everything back into place, ready for tomorrow morning when they open. Um, yeah, apart from that, I haven't really done a lot. Well, it's more time consuming than anything, so... I mean, I spent a good hour or more tinkering around with this and threading cables on and bolting handlebars on and there's a, I didn't have a bolt in this last night, which I'll put one in now. Quick release seat post, quick release front wheel. Yep, tire is stayed inflated, so that's good. Peter couldn't find another friggin' inner tube that isn't punctured, that'd make life a lot easier. Can't nick it out of the bike out front. Because, uh, well, I've got to fix that one up tomorrow to sell it, otherwise I can't sell it. Because, as I said, I've got someone interested in that one. But, uh, this one, not for sale. One, because I need it. Two, because I actually like it. I don't know how well them forks work. I haven't even um, bounced on them yet, but I'm not really fussed if they don't work. I'll just ride it as a rigid frame. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything else that I haven't already mentioned, either in this video or previous. Um, well that reminds me, looking over here at the TV, I do need to do a sand test. Because, um, I've got a cable plugged into the AU AUX port on the back of the stereo. I want to plug the other end in the headphone socket to see if, um, that all functions fine. Hopefully it does. Oh dear. Oh. Make sure everything works as well, because no doubt my, me and my guest will uh, play some video games. Uh, still got loads of work to do around this flat, but I'm getting there. Slowly. <sighs> Why does it always start freaking itching at night? Oh. If I found a home to put those, I would put them down in the shed, but I can't get in there at the moment. Oh, 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 that actually reminds me, I've got to remind Mum to come and pick those um, shelving cabinets up when they get that topsoil. Um, yes, Stepdad got given a load of topsoil, which um, he's going to use in his veggie patch he's been making in the garden. He just needed some um, topsoil to put in it. But I said while while they're in town with the trailer, why not pick up the um, two shelving units that my stepdad bought and uh, take them back as well. I can borrow my ratchet strap. I've got a ra long enough ratchet strap. I've got rope as well. Yeah, great. I think that's my sarasa's itching. Oh. Uh, hmm. Find a home for the stool in the nearest bin if it gets in my way much more. Got those forks up here because uh, I pinched those brakes off of them. I didn't have an Allen key downstairs because they were sitting on my um, little trailer which is down by the back door. Um, full of stuff to come upstairs to the cupboard and I've sort of been bringing bits up every time I go outside and come back in. So I just grabbed those and brought them upstairs to do. Oh, I've got a bloody headache. 
Bloody nothing to take for it. No painkillers whatsoever. Mm. Excuse me. All my pills and medications sit on this shelf and uh that's an empty box of antidepressants. And uh, as you can see, there is none there at the moment. Uh, we'll have to wait till tomorrow, I suppose. It just means that I'm probably in a rough night's sleep. Uh, I haven't had any interest. Um, I haven't had any interest whatsoever in that lady's mountain bike. Nope, still nothing. Mm -mm. Ah, that's ticking me off. I think I'll turn the camera off because I can't think of anything else and I'm getting distracted by the computer now, so I'll just drag myself away from that. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Nothing else to talk about. Nothing else. To, nothing new. Nothing at all, you know. I'm nearly done with that bike. We'll put that on hold, I think, and get that one out front done tomorrow. It just needs a clean up and uh, hmm, chewed up with a few adjustments, and then wheel bearing sorting as it. We might come up here and uh, hopefully sell it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.